Welcome to the video. This video is a part two in a series of how to use the n8.io platform to create an API for our to-do app. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll go ahead and sign in. And then I'm going to open up my workspace. And we're going to go into our to-do app. And here we are. So we have the add to do um, flow uh, set up, which we did in our last video. And we're, today we're going to go ahead and set up the edit to do. So we're going to click over here on this plus icon, and then we're going to search for a, a web hook. We're going to click that. It brings us into the edit. So this time, last time we did a post, this time we're going to do a put. And we're going to change the uh, path here to update. All right, that looks good. We're going to go ahead and copy this URL by clicking on it. We'll go back over to Postman, and we're going to create a new request. So, oops, let's hit the correct uh, buttons here. So we're going to click choose Add Request. Uh, just go ahead and name this um, update to do. That'll work. All right, we're going to change our get to put. We're going to paste in our URL. Next, we're going to click on the body tag or the body button here. And then we're going to choose raw. And we're going to make sure that JSON is selected. And next, we're going to go ahead and start adding our um, JSON. So we're going to have the title. And um, since this is going to be an update, we'll say um, actually, the first thing we need is an ID, so we'll say the ID is three. And then we're gonna have our title. And we'll say to do three update. And then the description. Goodness. Let's see. Oh, dated. And then we'll add a status and we'll set the status as completed. Why not? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this, and then we're going to go back over to our um, our platform, the uh, N8N. We're going to move this over here and kind of line it up, make it look a little better. And we're going to go ahead and add our next node, which will be a set node. So set, and we will choose the edit field. Let's go ahead and add the fields here. And we'll choose expression. And the first one we will add as ID. And we will give it a JSON body. ID. Okay, just going to copy that and next is our title. Oops, I forgot to add the equal sign here. So let's go ahead and hit equals, <coughs> equals, and uh, we'll call it, we'll paste this and call it title. All right, let's click another one. And we will name it description. And we will paste that in the description. And last, we will do 
um, status. There we go. Sorry, guys. All right. And let's see. That looks good. We're going to go back to our canvas here. And next thing we need to do is add a new code node. So we'll go back here and type in code. All right. And so in the last video, I had created the, uh, the code for it. And uh, this is an AI channel. So today we're going to use the Ask AI to create, uh, to, to generate the code based off of our prompt here. So I've added a prompt <clears throat> here. And let's go ahead. Now, we can't use it until we get the, uh, the, the data coming in. So, but before, well, let's go ahead and test that. So let's go ahead and click test workflow. We'll go back over here and we'll just go ahead and send the data. Workflow started. Everything's looking good so far. Let's see what it gives us. Open this up. And it created it created the updated to do. All right. And my new field. Not sure where that came from. That must have been huh. Let's see. the web hook interesting that it's created an extra my new field i don't see that anywhere else go back to our code here and see yeah. let's see let's expand this out and that's our code that's the code that it generated. Let's see if we got Oh, we didn't delete the previous code. Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and we deleted the previous code. Now let's generate this code. And now it's replacing that code. All right. Now we'll test it. And there we go. Okay, so I'll leave the mistakes in because we all make mistakes and we can learn from them. So. Excellent. And we'll go back here. And now I want to cancel this. And I want to start a new test flow. And I want to go back to our add here because I want to add some more tests. So I'm going to go with two, test two. And I'm going to get our spreadsheet here. And bring it over to this window here. And we see that it's created the two. And we'll go back. Let's uh, add three. I might need, yeah, we got to retest. We got to stop this and restart it for testing. Now we'll go back and hit send. That work. It's all good. Okay. And we'll wait for three. There we go. Perfect. We'll do one more. We'll have to stop. Test workflow. And we'll go ahead and change this to four. Perfect. It's going. Okay. Excellent. So the ad is working. We can stop that from happening now. Now, last, we need to go ahead and create a, um, a node for our uh, final Google Sheet. So, and this node is going to be update instead of a pen. So let's go ahead and click our plus button here. We'll type in sheet. And let's go ahead and find update. There we go. 
Excellent. Okay, so we got update row. We need to choose our spreadsheet and the tab. Okay. So what we're going to do is just start manually. Oh, I meant we've got to get some data here. So let's go back and we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and start our workflow here. Let's go back to update. We'll go ahead and send this. All right. Now let's go into here. Okay. So now we can start dragging the data over. So this just instead of typing it in, if we do this test, we can just drag and it saves time. And it's a little easier to work with. All right. Okay, so now everything's there. So we can look at our sheet. Nothing's changed. We're about to change the uh, number three to do. So we'll go ahead and test that. Okay, so we have an issue. Let's figure out what's, what's missing here. Those look correct. Oh, ID. <laughs> I tend to forget that. So we need to put our ID there. There we go. Looks good. Come back over here. So we got updated, updated, and completed. All right. So that concludes this video for how to set up the update. Um, next video, we are going to uh, do the delete and then we're gonna take the API live. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.